Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we will see how to securely configure the roaming profile for our domain users. Roaming profile is very beneficial. Therefore, it allows user settings, documents and profile to follow with users no matter on which computer they log into within the network. They can log on to any machine in a network and they will get the same experience on all the devices. So let's move to the server and get started. Right now we are on our server and if we go and see the active directory users and computers we have this tech OU here and inside this tech OU we have three users Jack, Ronnie and Vic. We are planning to assign roaming profile to these three users. Let me first create a security group here and to create a group we can just right click on the OU and click on new and here we have a group. Let me provide the group name as a roaming profile users and the group scope is global and group type is security. So let's click on OK. Now the group has been created and if we double click the group we can see the members. We can add the members and members we have here Jack, Ronnie and Vic. We can click OK. OK. These three users has been added to this group. Click on apply and OK. So we have a roaming profile group here and we have added these three users to the group. Now let's create a shared folder for roaming profiles. Let me minimize this and I will open the server manager and we will navigate to the file and storage service and here we will click on shares. To create a new share folder we can just right click here and click on new share and here we have to select this option SMB share quick and click on next. Now we have our volume C and D here. You can pick any of the volume where you want to share the folder. I will select the C drive and will proceed with next. And in the share name field, I will put the profiles dollar. The dollar sign makes the share hidden. So this is our local path. This is our remote path to share. So let's click on next. Now we have three options here. We have to select this option enable access based enumeration. It means that if a user does not have a read or any equivalent permission for a folder Windows hides the folder from the user's view. So if uh, the user does not have any permission the user will not see the folder as well. Allow caching of share. If you are using a branch cache you can use this option and we have to check this one as well to encrypt the data access. Let's click on next. Now in the permission to control access just click on customize permission and we have to click on disable inheritance and select this option convert inherited permission into explicit permission on this object. This will remove the two default user under permission entries. Let me select that. And you can see the user has been removed. Now click on apply. Now we have to click on add. Select a principal. We have to select that group that roaming profile group. So we have this roaming profile users here and I will click on OK. I will uncheck all these permission and will click on show advanced permissions. You need to check these list folder read data, create folders, append data. Once you set that in applies to you have to select this folder only. Now click on OK and apply. Let's also edit the administrator entry. Click apply and OK. Now click on next and you have to create this. This share is now created successfully. Let me close it. If we want to test this UNC path we can try this and you can see that we are able to access the share folder. So let's assign the roaming profile to user. To do that we have to go to the active directory. Either you can configure it from here like inside the profile. You can just type the profile as a WIC. This is a user WIC. Click on apply. OK. And even you can go here in the members tab. Here we have a jack. In the profile we can set it as this path. Click on apply. OK. Same way we can do for the Ronnie as well. So we will do it as Ronnie. And we'll click on apply. OK. 
so we have assigned the roaming profiles to the user so let's try to test it here we have a uh, two computer you can see my host 01 and pc 01 so benefit of this roaming profile will be if i log into this pc and create any folder and after that i log into the another machine my folders and files and settings will be available on every machine wherever the user is logging in so let's try to log in with the jack user on this pc 01 first so I'm trying to sign in with the Jack user. If you see this, the device name is PC01. Uh, let me close this and let's create a new folder here. I will say test1 and inside this I will create a new text file, test file. I'll save it. Let's copy this file to the desktop as well. So we have this uh, setting on our desktop like one folder and one test file. And if we also see this advanced system settings, Inside the user profiles, you can see the Jack and Ronnie have a roaming profile. We have these two names here because these two users logged in on this computer. Let me try to log in with the Jack user on the different machine. You can see we have a test1 and test file here. And if we go and check the computer properties, you can see it is my host 01. That means everywhere if this Jack user will log in, these files will travel with its profile. That's why it is a roaming profile. Wherever the user log in in the organization, he will find these files on the desktop. So this is the benefit of the roaming profile. I hope you found the video informative. Let's meet in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.